So I just wanted to do this video quickly to cover batch creation of components in Altium. I searched for how to do this online for days uh, through Altium's online documentation, various forums, and just could not find how to do this. Um, so I did eventually work it out. Um, so just doing this video so it's useful for anyone that is trying to do a similar thing. So what this is essentially going to cover is if you've got a, um, if you're creating a new vault from scratch and uh, you've already got your template set up, your um, symbols and footprints, and you, I'll use I'll use resistors as an example for this, and that's the that's the example that we'll work through um, in this video. Uh, say you have a, a, a manufacturer's family of 0603 resistors that you want to import, um, and let's say there's you know 500, 1,000 of those components. You don't want to have to go through the Vault Explorer and create each component item by item because you'll be there all all day um, or all month really. So uh, in order to streamline how quickly you can you know, just create all of those in one batch, um, there is a, a way to actually do that natively. So what we'll do to start is, um, so what I've done to, this is a reduced version of the, the library that we're, we're importing for, for our vault. But um, so in this case, we've got some Panasonic resistors, 0603, 1% um, parts, uh, and we wanna import all of these into our vault um, in one go. So the way to do this is actually, uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's actually quite well hidden. So this, this is our vault. Um, we've got a section here currently for 0603 resistors. Um, you can see under footprints, we do have uh, already 0603 resistors uh, in least nominal and most um, size. And uh, we've also got over here in symbols, um, a generic resistor symbol that we're going to be using. So first thing that you need to do, um, I would yeah get uh, the um, components that you need uh, imported into, into Excel or some, some form of spreadsheet uh, because it's going to be useful for, it's, it's gonna be crucial actually for, for how we're going to, for this process to work. Um, so, Columns that you're going to uh, likely need are as, as a minimum description, manufacturer part number, value tolerance. Uh, there might be other things that you need as well. It, it all depends on how you configure your component templates. Um, in our case, uh, they're quite minimal. We only put the information that we need, absolutely need in, just to, to minimize the clutter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new component here. Uh, so this is, this is exactly the same as how um, any other vault component would be made so far. Uh, but what you're going to do instead of, you know, your normal process would be to manually fill out these parts and then you right click and uh, commit it to the server, etc. Um, what you're going to do instead is go up to tools here and then go to the option switch to batch editor. And from here, you'll actually get the spreadsheet view. Um, and you can see that if, if you've already got all of your templates um, configured correctly for, for your component folder, um, all of the, the facts that we created, the, um, the item from inside the, the destination folder, means that a lot of this stuff is actually auto-populated. So we've, you can see we've got the symbol and we've got the, uh, the three component footprints already created there for us. And we've got this first component already made. So in our case, or for this example, we've got uh, 10 resistors that we're wanting to import. So we're going to right click, go to operations, add components, and we're going to put nine in because we've already got the 10th one over here. And what that's going to do is create nine placeholder components here. Um, and all you're going to do at this point is go over to your spreadsheet, select each of the columns that you need to import. So keep it in uh, the order, I guess, you know, preserve the order for um, for the in entirety of this process because uh, each of the columns have to correspond. So, and then you just, uh, oh, just lost the clipboard there and you just paste into, into those columns. So next we have power 
we'll select all those. And we have tolerance. And lastly, value. And that's it. We're done with this. So all you do at this point is right click, save to server. Um, this will take a while if the more components you have, um, it'll be, you know, the upload time will be proportional. Uh, so I've, I've purposely only done uh, 10 components or so just to, just to keep things quick. Um, but you can see we've uploaded now to the server and if we go and refresh, um, we've got our 10 new components created here and ready to go. So, perfect. Um, well, I hope that was of use to someone. Uh, you know, they don't have to dig through um, all the menus and find this like I did. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks.